Hello Capricorns. We're going to look into your situation. So it's whatever the cards want to say. It could be love, money, career. Um, please bear with my camera for a minute. It just it zones in and out as I pull the cards. But once I put the cards down, it should be all good. So it's just whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come through for this energy group. I usually try to make the titles very specific so you can tell early on if it's your story or not. But, you know, as I always say, don't take it if it doesn't resonate. It's either your story or it isn't. There could be several people in this energy group as well. So there might be specific messages for specific people that are watching this. Spying, mutual depths, and um, mutual depth, emotional feelings, hidden truth. Okay. So this is like secret admirer energy, or this could be an ex from the past. It's kind of lurking, kind of watching you. They want to come in quickly here, it looks like, because we have fast-moving energy, chaos, sudden-term events. There might also be a hidden truth that's being revealed is what I'm getting, but the feelings are mutual for whoever this is. Oh, okay, I think I see what's going on here. I feel like for some, there's going to be an ex that wants to come in and reveal a hidden truth to you. But you're going to have a new person that's in here. For others, I feel like the hidden truth is that you're starting. They think you're dating somebody else for some of you. I feel like they think that you're moving on. And they think that you're moving on quickly. Because there's some kind of energy here where there's some type of hidden truth that's being revealed. And I feel like it's getting someone to come forward towards you. Okay, so I actually see two or three different people. Two or three different stories here. Okay, let me, so let me look into, because I'm getting really mixed energy, sorry. I keep pausing because I keep looking at the cards and I'm like getting such mixed energy. Okay, for some, you have an ex that's spying on you and there's mutual feelings with this ex and they're going to reveal a hidden truth. There's going to be like a hidden truth that's revealed that you've met somebody else. Like maybe mutual friends are going to tell them, but that's going to make them move in quickly and want to reveal their feelings to you. For others, I feel like there's someone that's spying on you and the truth is going to be revealed that... There's mutual feelings here. So this could be like a secret admirer. This could be someone that like you've been friends with. You guys both kind of like each other, but you're afraid of ruining the friendship. Could also see this as just somebody that's like kind of flirts with you and you flirt with them, but you don't know if they're serious. They don't know if, you, if you're serious. It's like you guys kind of match each other's energy. Like you're not sure what they want. They're not sure what you want. There's like a lot of uncertainty here. But whatever the story is, it's like there's a hidden truth being revealed. And that's going to cause someone to move in quickly. So this person might not have known that you felt the same way about them. And they might receive like a hidden truth. Like maybe like a mutual friend is going to tell them or something. And then they're going to move in quickly because they want this. This is destiny. They want this new love with you. This new start with you. But like I said, for others, this could be an ex that's watching you. That you have mutual feelings for. And th there's going to be a truth revealed that you're dating somebody else. Or that you're moving on from them. That you're moving on more quickly than they thought. So either way, you know, basically there's a truth being revealed and that's going to cause someone to come forward towards you. Whether this is an ex or a secret admirer, like a friend or someone that you both are attracted to each other, but it's kind of been an unspoken attraction. And now, you know, now it's time to come forward. This could be a potential life partner. Someone here, this could be the new person though, that's the potential life partner. Yeah, soulmate, soul contract, past life connection. You guys have known each other in your past lives. It's a very deep connection here. Very deep psychic connection here. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Yeah, there's like a lot left unsaid is what I'm getting. Whether this is an ex or a secret admirer or someone new, I'm just getting that with this energy, it's like there's... Like I said, take it how it resonates because for some of you, this is two different people, you know... This is an ex and a new person, and for others, this is just the same person, the same person that's been kind of spying and watching you, and then there's going to be a truth reveal that's going to push someone to come forward and start this new chapter with you. But we have life partner, we have true love, um, they have soulmate, we have beauty, mystery, enchantment. So yeah, with this card right here, I'm almost feeling like there's just so much that's like left a mystery. It's like... I'm really feeling like someone didn't know if your feelings were mutual, whether it's someone from your past or a new recent person. It's like this person didn't know if you were really serious about them, like they didn't understand. Like maybe this connection was always there and they just didn't recognize it. I don't know why. Okay, I don't know if I have any Vampire Diary fans here, but it's reminding me of, of Stefan and Caroline at the end. 
where it's like been there all along but like two people didn't recognize it until like the last minute you know until like the, the last season <laughs> Hesitation, mixed feelings. Yeah, it's like they have this hesitation because it's such a mystery. It's like someone doesn't know how you feel, but they want to be loyal to you. They want stability with you. They want, you know, this commitment with you, but they just, someone's like really confused about how you feel. Someone feels isolated and alone. Hmm. They could feel like you're above them too, or like you have a lot of options, like you have more of a social life than they do, like you have more friends and more potential lovers than they do. And so it takes a lot for them to really make a move towards you, you know, willpower, strength, confidence, home, safe space, choose a path. Yeah, they know that they're going to have to muster up the energy to, you know, to come forward towards you. Some of them are also choosing between like two different lifestyles. Like, do they want to have a home and settle down and start something? Or do they want to have fun and party and just kind of do what they want to do? You know, um, I think that there's just a lot left up in the air. It's like, for some reason, it's like, I feel like they're leaning towards choosing you. But for some reason, it's like, they don't know if you would choose them. Like, they don't understand. And, you know, please don't get mad at your ex at me, like over my channel. Like, do not shoot the messenger, please. Like... I know sometimes I get people that are like, get so mad. They're like, I told him this and this and this. I'm like, I, I'm just the messenger. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, don't get me wrong. Like you guys can comment that. It's totally fine. Like you guys can, you know, tell me how you feel. I'm just saying that like, I mean, I'm not responsible for it is all I'm saying. I'm, I'm just, I'm just relaying the messages. I'm just relaying the energy. Like this person might have no reason at all to think that you don't love them. But I mean, that's, that's what the energy is, is just what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like it, it's not right or wrong. It's just. That's how they feel. That's what I'm letting you know. That this is how they feel if this is your story. If you're in this particular energy group. You know. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate though. Truth and clarity. Sex and seduction. Hmm. Fear of commitment, toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. What is this? Yeah, for some, for those of you dealing with two people, one of them might be toxic and one of them might be positive. So, like, you might be dealing with someone that wants to seduce you or have sex with you or, like, they want to, like, pull you back into old energy, but it's going to be the same as before. It's going to be the same fear of commitment. They're just trying to, like, assert dominance. You know what I mean? Like, they're just trying to get you back to this point with them. They're just trying to get the control over you again. Red flags, you know? That's just a message for a couple of you. That it's like, some of them might see you with somebody else, and they're going to be like, oh, what is? what do they think they're doing with somebody else? And they're going to try to pull you back in, and you got to be smarter. Miscommunication. Yeah, there's like an end to a pattern. I feel like maybe you like you miscommunicated with this person or like there was like anger or there was just issues with this person. And some of you are like, I don't give a shit anymore. Like some of you are just like, I'm done. I don't care if we miscommunicated. I don't care if I misunderstood. Like I'm out, <laughs> you know, like divine intervention, synchronicity. Like you got on that first ship out of there. You know, you were just out like you're guarded and distrusting with this person. Now you paused and ref reflected, you know, and you went inward and you decided, you know what, I want new love instead. And you're manifesting new love now and this person might feel it and they might want to come back around. Yeah, someone's planning on giving you a love offer here. Like I said, there's a couple different stories here. Like for some of you, this is, um, you know, two different people. Like I said, it's like your ex is going to realize you're with somebody else or that you're talking to someone else or that you're putting yourself out there. Like maybe you're going out to meet new people and they can kind of feel that and sense that or they see you going out. They see that you're not waiting for them anymore. So they're wanting to come back and pull you in because there's mutual feelings there. But, it, it, you know, for some of you, it might you might have to use your, your intuition, like, you know, judgment, like be logical, really think about it. You know, make sure it's not just someone coming in prematurely because they don't want to lose you. You know, this person might still have the same toxic issues as before. So really trust your spirit guides and listen to the red flags. If, you know, this person might just be coming back around to seduce you because they don't want you moving on to someone else. 
Um, but like I said, for others, this could be like a secret admirer or someone that's actually very positive, very good for you because there is potential life partner energy here for somebody. And I feel like that could be, um, you know, like this hidden truth might be that you guys still have feelings for each other. Or like it could be, like I said, like a friend or someone, maybe someone that you know that you kind of see. It's like you, you flirt, but maybe, maybe it's like a coworker or someone. Cause I'm feeling like for a couple of you, it could be like a situation where, like if, if they made a move and you rejected them, you could report them and vice versa. Like you're feeling the same way. You're like, if I made a move on this person, what if they don't, what if, what if I misread the signals and you know, I feel stupid at work now or, or I get fired for this or what, you know, it's like some, like some, for some, this is like a coworker or like a friend, like you have mutual friends and it's just going to be awkward if you get rejected. So it's like, you guys kind of look at each other a certain way. There's just a lot left unspoken. It's like, you look at each other a certain way. I'm seeing my spirit guides always communicate with me through like movies and TV shows and that kind of thing. It's so, like, I don't know if you guys have seen Last of the Mohicans, but I'm seeing like the way, you know, the way Alice and Uncas look at each other the whole movie. For those of you that have, seen, that, that have seen that movie, it's like, it's just unspoken. Like they love each other. They, but there's, they never say anything to each other. It's just, they just know. It's just that kind of energy where it's like, you guys just kind of know, but it's like, you, someone gets in their head and thinks, well, what if I'm wrong? What if I misread that signal? And so it's like someone else is like trying to drop more more hints and someone's not getting it, you know? Um, show me more about this energy. Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, King of Cups. king of swords okay yeah some of you really are choosing between two people the king of cups i think is your person that's your true love i'm feeling most likely and then the king of swords it could be even like a water and air sign but i think you know who's who because the other one would be kind of toxic so you're choosing some of you are choosing between a king of cups and a king of swords or you know like i like i always say you know there's no gender here so this could be a female too you know take it as it resonates it could be a queen of cups or a queen of swords you're choosing between but you're juggling. It's like someone here is like choosing. And this king of cups is, this king or queen of cups is like mature, emotional, vulnerable, open. And this king of swords is more like stubborn and narcissistic and kind of hard headed and stuck in their ways and want, they're very sexual too. I'm getting that they're very, like they just want what they want when they want it. Like they just, they're very, like I don't get a great energy from them. For those of you that are dealing with two people, I'm getting more like a like they're just trying to get some, you know, or like they just like to sleep around or so. I don't know. It's just, it's just a weird energy I get from this King of Swords. So I think that the, the King of Cups, like the new person that you're manifesting or that you've just manifested, I think that's probably your best option or like this friend or whatever that maybe is like very sweet and gentle and not your usual type, but you guys are flirting and you're both afraid of rejection. It's kind of like saying, you know, take that to the next step, you know, screw your ex. This is, you know, go for this person that's more gentle and more loving this king of swords just feels i don't know his energy his or her energy just feels very egotistical to me it just feels like someone that's kind of uses people someone that kind of just wants what they want when they want it like someone that just wants sex or just wants money like they just kind of see people as like a means to an end it's almost like they feel like you're theirs and they don't like that you're moving on and dating new people or that you're going out, putting yourself out there again and trying to meet new people. Like some of you haven't met anybody yet, but you're like trying to, like you want to go out and meet someone new and they can feel it and sense it or they're seeing it. Like they're noticing you're going out to clubs and stuff or whatever. Um, and it's just kind of saying like, it's like this person just wants like the control and power over you. They're like, oh, what is, like, how, how dare they think they're going to move on from me? You know, it's like this person's just so cocky. This person wants, it's almost like they want to like, because I'm getting something with sex where it's like they, it's like for some of you, it's like this person just wants to like spread their seed around or something. It's like they want to, it's like they want to conquer women or it could be, like I said, it could be like a woman that's doing this. It could be male or female. You know, it could be like a succubus type spirit where it's like this woman likes to seduce people and she likes that feeling of control and power and being able to seduce and get money or get what she wants and then move on. Or it could be like a man that just wants to spread his seed. It's almost like a, it's almost like a challenge for him. It's like one of those men that like just want sex. And like once he gets it, he moves on to somebody else. Like he, he sees women as like, 
like challenges to conquer. It's almost like a game to him. It's kind of sick. It's almost like it's just like, like he wants to, he wants to prove to, he, he's just very, he's all about his image. He wants to prove to himself and the people around him that he can get whoever he wants. He can get the hottest girl. It's almost like someone that probably has like competitions with their friends, like, oh, I bet I could get that girl's number before you could. Like they don't, they don't see women as like people. They see them as like, games or objects you know what I mean it's like someone that just wants it's like when they get what they want they're out you know and for some they met their match with you it's like for some they you know you weren't as easy to figure out you weren't as easy to control and conquer you didn't give them what they wanted so easily you didn't cave so easily you you challenged them more and so some of them are wanting to come back and it's almost like they want to defeat you. Like they want, like, it's like a game. They want to win. They want to defeat this challenge. You were more challenging than the, the women before you. So they need to, they need to win this challenge is kind of what, where they're at, you know, like they might, they might have feelings for you, but it's like, it's not worth it though. If they do, you know, it's like this person's, this person loves themselves more than they'll ever love you or anybody else. It's like, ew, very narcissistic. Um... I mean, they love themselves in, like, a toxic way is what I'm saying. It's not toxic to love yourself. I'm just saying it's it's the way that they do it is, like, they they just, they, it's like Gaston over here just kissing the mirror. It's like, ew. Kind of Beauty and the Beast reference there. Like, my spirit guides just, like, come through with random, like, movie or TV show clips and stuff. I'm like, okay, well, that's, I mean, that's how they can, that's part of how they communicate with me. So it works for me. Um, it makes sense to me. You know, it's like good, it's a good example. But yeah, this, this King of Cups, that's more like, more sweet, more gentle, more like, um, like, I, like, I feel like this could be like a friend or someone or someone that like supports you. Just someone that's more, more mature, more grounded. They're, they're less controlling. They're not, they're not as controlling as the King of Swords. They're, they're more, that's someone that's going to like let you do your own thing more. You know what I mean? Like they're going to hold space for you more. Like they're not, they're not as stubborn and stuck, stuck in their ways. They're more like a go with the flow kind of person. Like they're more open-minded. They're more relaxed is what I'm getting with this King of Cups. And that's, I think that, that energy, that good energy is, is the one that's your potential life partner. Some of you have been letting this go because you want to focus on yourself. You want better things. Yeah, because you're trying to be the Queen of Wands. You're not trying to entertain this King of Swords anymore. You want to be the Queen of Wands. You want to manifest your true love. You don't want to deal with the King of Swords anymore. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're coming out of Eight of Swords energy. You're realizing that there's a way out of this. Some of you, it's like this King of Swords made you feel trapped. And now you're realizing that you can move forward with the Chariot. And I think that you're realizing that you move forward by being the queen of swords by matching this person's energy it's like by not giving into them by not giving into the crocodile tears not giving into you know them just like you kind of understand that energy you're kind of you're kind of recognizing that they just want something out of you or they just see you as a challenge like they only want you when they can't have you kind of energy like you're kind of recognizing it now and you were in eight of swords energy over this king of swords like you were like kind of feeling trapped kind of feeling upset alone confused not sure how to get out of this but now you're coming out of it quickly with the chariot card here and you're coming out of it by being the queen of swords. Like you're matching this energy. You're like, you know what? Two can play that game. I'm cutting your ass out. I'm done. Like you're, you're not going to win this challenge with me. I don't think so. Motherfucker. You know, you're, you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your, your home, yourself, your boundaries. Like you're standing firm. You're very strong, very confident, very powerful in this queen of swords energy and moving forward. And, um, yeah, it's a really beautiful energy here. It's a really good energy here. So you're, you're, you know, good things are coming in. Like I said, for some of you, it's like you're manifesting this person. Like you're trying to meet someone and this person's kind of aware of that. Like they're, maybe they're stalking you. Maybe some of them are like spying on you and they see that you're going out. Like they see you posting on social media. Like, oh, I'm going to this club tonight or I'm going out of town today. Or, you know, like maybe you told someone you're going out of town and someone relayed this information back to this king of swords. So they're like, what does she think she's doing? Like she's... Like, who is she going to meet? Like, they want to know what you're doing. They want to know who you're with. They want to know, like, what's going on there. But, you know, just stay strong. Stay in your power and keep manifesting this new love. 
Um, like I said, for some, for a lot of you, this this could be someone that you're trying to go meet, like you're manifesting this right now. For others, I just feel like this is someone that you already know. It's like someone that you're friends with or someone that like a, like a coworker or someone that's like in your, or just around you where it's like there might be a lot left unspoken. Um, so, I mean, don't let this King of Swords back in because he might try to crawl back in when he realizes he's losing you to someone else. He might try to like, cause he, it's like a challenge to him. It's not even real love. It's just like, he doesn't want, he, it's like, if he can't have you, he doesn't want anybody else to have you, you know, male or female. It could be, you know, it could be a, a female too. There's no a specific gender here or anything like that, but it's just like a challenge. That's, I think the, the, the warning here that your spirit guides want you to have is like, you know, if you're trying with someone new and they're not quite your usual type. Like, that might be a good thing that they're not quite your usual type. It's like you're stepping out of your comfort zone. You're manifesting someone new. You're, you're getting used to this new energy. This, this person, this King of Cups, might be someone that you would usually friend zone. They might be someone that you normally wouldn't give a second look at. But now you are looking at them because of what you went through with his King of Swords and with, you know, people like the King of Swords before him or her. You know, it's like you're you're looking at things differently now. You're like, you know what? Like, I want to go for someone that's not my usual type. I don't want to be with another King of Swords or Queen of Swords. I don't want to be with that energy again. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with a narcissist again. I don't want to do that. I want to go for someone that's empathetic and creative and artistic and gentle and loving and kind. Like, you're starting to. Um, it's like you're starting to idolize like more positive qualities. Finally, you're starting to like. Go for, like, a different type of person now. So for some, this person might not be your usual type. This true love of yours, it might not be someone you normally go for. It might be someone that's, like, you know, it starts out as friends and it builds up from there to something more, you know, meaningful and deep and romantic. But it's just saying, like, when this King of Swords comes back in, because they probably will get jealous and angry and feel that you're with someone else and they kind of think that you're their property and you're not... You need to keep staying in your Queen of Swords and then a Wands Chariot energy. You need to, these three cards right here. You need to stay in this energy right here. Don't go back to the Eight of Swords. You need to stay strong and keep moving forward because this King of Swords is only coming back around because it's a, it's a challenge for them. And some of them might have even made a bet with their friends that they could get you back. Some of them literally made a bet with their friends, like like five hundred dollars says I can get her back, and or five hundred dollars says I can get her to have sex with me. Within two or three weeks, you know, like that kind of just icky shit, like misogynistic shit right here is what I'm picking up. So like, don't get swooped back into that because I feel like some of you like thought that you could save this person or you thought you could get through to them or you thought you saw more in them. And it's just kind of saying like, I think you know better intuitively, like you need to be honest about the red flags because when this person tries to come back around, like it's going to be the same crap as before. And they're just coming back around to like challenge you. It's because it's a challenge. It's like they want, it's like you're, you're the one that got away. You're the one that didn't believe their bullshit. You're the one that didn't baby them. You're the one that they didn't, they didn't get what they wanted out of you so easily. And so it's almost like they're turned on by the challenge. It's not real love though. It's just like a chaser chasey game. Like they want what they can't have. Now that you're pulling away from them and moving on, they want to pull you back in. They want to. You know what I mean? They want to prove to themselves and maybe prove to their friends, too, that they can get what they want out of you. That you can, you know, they can make any any woman fall in love with them. This person thinks, like, this person thinks their dick is just, like, God's gift to humanity or to women. It's just like, ew, no, it's really not. Um, so please be mindful of that. Please be mindful of that because this person might be someone that gaslights people or this person might be very manipulative. So, like, you need to be logical when this conversation comes in because um, you know better. I mean, this wouldn't be, like, a shock to you. If this is, like, a complete shock to you, then this is probably not your story. This would be something that you already know. Like, you would have already seen this power struggle with this person. You would have already noticed that they, you know, you guys have sex and then they're they're nowhere to be found for the next two weeks or, like... They, when you're being open, open and emotional with them, they run or they do their own thing or they're talking to other women or other men. Um, like you would feel this energy already. Like you would have seen these red flags for a while and maybe you ignored them, but you knew that they were there. So it's just kind of that warning, like, you know, be, be logical, be mindful. Don't get wrapped back into this. Because if you stay strong and you don't give in to the loneliness, you don't give in to this King of Swords, then you have a King of Cups waiting for you. Whether you've met them already or not, you do have this soulmate, this potential life partner that's coming in. 
but some of you are going to be tested by the universe to make sure that you're really committed to this person because this person, this person's not going to be your usual type. For some, for some, it's not going to be your usual type because if your usual type is toxic, then they can't, your spirit guides cannot bring you your usual type if your usual type is toxic. You know, there could be like a scar for some, there could be a scar on this person's arm or somewhere on their body. Um, just for a couple of you, for like one or two of you. But yeah, it's like for some, it's like this person's going to be very sweet, very like gentle. It's almost going to feel like it's just going to feel different. Like the energy is going to feel more open and relaxed. Like you don't have to be on edge with them. You can just say what you want to say and do what you want to do. Like they're not going to try to control you. It's going to be more of a like a relaxed relationship where it's like you guys have like the strong friendship base too on top of the the romance and the love, you know, and so like for some, like I said, it might be building from a friendship moving into a romantic relationship over time. For some, like I also said, this is like a coworker or someone that wants to make a move, but they're afraid could even be like a manager of yours or something like they, that want to make wants to make a move on you. But and there's like an attraction between you and you flirt, but like, you know, you don't want to get fired and they don't want to get fired either. So there's just a lot left that's unspoken. Someone could have a motorcycle. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling like just be strong because some of your spirit guides might challenge you with this King of Swords. It might be like a karmic test for you, like a karmic lesson. Like, can you keep staying in your power? Can you move forward with the chariot even when you don't know if you're going to be alone or not? Like, can you move forward? Can you be strong? Can you be in your power? Can you trust and use your intuition? And be honest about the red flags and also be honest and mindful of the green flags with this king of cups as well. You know, don't try to create issues that aren't there with this with this positive person. It's like it's like a karmic lesson, like a karmic cycle wrapping up and you might be tested by the universe. I know that's frustrating, but, you know, don't shoot the messenger here. Um... But yeah, just be logical when this King of Swords come back around, comes back around, because it's just it, they just want to have their cake and eat it too. They they want the challenge. They want you now that they can't have you, and you know that. So hold out for this King of Cups, whether it's someone you work with, whether it's a friend, whether it's someone that you haven't met yet. There is someone in your energy field that is kind and loving and gentle and more relaxed. Their energy is more relaxed, more calm. They're, they're going to let you do your own thing. They're not going to try to control you. You know, it's a much better energy. And this is your potential life partner right here. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, if you'd like a paid private reading, my email is below. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. My email is right below in the description box below the video. So you can just copy and paste it. My donation links are also below. Donations are appreciated. And please like, share, subscribe, comment. Please share because some people might need to hear this message. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.